Welcome back to the second video in topic five, the internet and its uses. This is from the new syllabus 23 to 2025 for IGCSE and O-level computer science. Um, in this video, we will be looking at the um, cookies and we'll be looking at what they are used for and how they are used. And we'll be looking at the differences between session cookies and persistent cookies. This will conclude this, this first section of the internet and its uses. Um, the title being the internet and the world wide web as you can see or code stored on your computer Cookies are used to identify who you are and then with that information they can improve your web browsing experience Data that is stored in a cookie is created by the server upon your connection It adds to that information the more you browse around that particular website this data is labeled with a unique identifier unique to your computer and you. When the cookie is exchanged between your computer and the network server, the server reads the ID and then it knows what information um, to specifically serve to you, what your interests, what do you like to look at. Each cookie is effectively a small lookup table, like a little database containing pairs, so a key, a, um, a field, and the data within that field. Um, for example, obviously surname Jones, who, who you are, and then maybe what, what you like, what your hobbies and interests, what music you like listening to, in this example, rock music. Now, a website cookie, particularly a session cookie, is not designed to collect personal information, personal data from your hard disk. It doesn't work like that. Um, it doesn't collect your banking details, it doesn't Connect, collect your contact addresses and it certainly doesn't go looking around on your hard disk f at your photographs. It's not there to snoop and pry, it's not hacking software, it's not, it's not dangerous. Cookies simply carry the data we create whilst we're browsing. Um, there's some examples of what, what would feature on this particular session cookie, i.e. the website which you are visiting, um, where you've come from, for example, a Google search, um, which pages within the website you've been clicking on, whether you're signed in or not, whether you've got a user account, how long you stayed on particular pages or on the on the actual website itself, and um, if you bought, if it's a shopping cart, if you bought any of those items. It does, whilst you're browsing, it is collecting, it's gathering information. A good example here, customers who bought this item might have also bought this item. For example, somebody who might have bought the Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets might also like to buy, or you might like to buy, the unofficial Harry Potter spell book. Okay, and a nice little cartoon to sort of illustrate that with bananas. And maybe somebody who bought bananas might have also bought muffins, um, bread and milk. There are two. There are, there are many types of cookies, but the two mentioned in the syllabus are session cookies, which are known as non-persistent um, or temporary cookies, and persistent cookies, also known as permanent cookies. A session cookie um, is stored in memory, your temporary memory on your on your computer, and it's never written to your hard disk. They only remain active as long as you are browsing, as long as you've got the browser window open. Okay. As soon as you close that, then that cookie vanishes. That's why it's known as a session cookie. It survives, it lives as long as you are in the browser. The other cookie mentioned is the persistent cookie or the permanent cookie. This does live on your computer. It is saved to your hard disk and it does contain login details, usernames and passwords and things like that. But you put this information in when you're filling in forms online and it just saves the information to speed up the buying process um, if you go to that particular website again it can populate the form and process the information a lot more quicker so to go into more detail let's have a breakdown of a, of a session cookie this type of cookie as we mentioned is stored in temporary memory on your computer it doesn't collect any information from the user's computer and it doesn't um, personally identify the user. Session cookies cease to exist as soon as the computer or the browser window has been closed. The session is terminated. 
Search and Cookies are used, for example, when making online purchases. I mentioned this before. If you are going on a, um, a shopping website and you're adding buying lots of things and you're putting these things in the, in the basket, what you don't want to happen is every time you go and look elsewhere on the um, on the shopping website that the basket forgets who you are and what you've bought and you keep having to put the um, items in or buy the items one at a time. That is the main reason here for using a session cookie. A persistent cookie, however, um, this does store information on your device. It remembers who you are. It remembers your settings, your preferences, um, what language you might use, what currency you've purchased things for in the past, essentially your signing credentials. This is designed to help make the shopping, the buying experience a lot quicker. Rather than you having to enter your username, your password, um, all of your postage and your address details, your banking details, it does try and remember all of these so you've got them to speed up um, the process. The most popular persistent cookie is Google Analytics where it does remember your search patterns, um, what you've been doing and lots and lots of other information. I do recommend having a little look, go into, um, go into a search engine and type in Google Analytics and see what you can find out. Okay, so we'll use this first diagram to look at the first time a user visits a particular website. So first of all, a user will type in a request, an URL, um, something into the search bar and request a particular web page from a website for the first time. In this case, um, they've requested um, the ASOS sale, 25% off. So the web server replies and sends the web page back, but it also sends cookies back to the user's browser. The browser then sends a permanent cookie um, and stores it on the user's hard disk and any session cookies um, will be stored in temporary memory in, um, in RAM on the computer. Okay, um, obviously the um, when the web browser is, is closed or the website, the web browser is shut down, then the persistent cookie remains stored, whereas the session cookie is deleted at the end of that particular session. So that's the first time. With the second time, when a, when a user logs into the website again, um, so it makes another request, this time the website or the web server checks and identifies persistent cookies stored on the user's computer. The user's preferences and other details are, are recognized. Also the user's historic data is matched, data shared with other online sellers. For example, other websites that are linked via user's preferences, the buying habits, etc. They can then use this to target the user to sell them similar items or to match them with other preferences. So I'm going to go through a summary of uses of cookies. We've covered a great deal so far, but so I just want to try and summarize what we've gone through. Okay, so first of all, cookies. They allow the website to remember users' passwords email addresses and invoice details. I'm talking about persistent cookies here. So they won't have to insert all this information every time they visit or every time they purchase something from that particular website. They serve as a memory, enabling um, the website to recognize users every time they visit. It saves users items in a virtual shopping basket, cart, and tracks internet habits and users website histories or favorites and bookmarks. It targets users with advertising that matches their previous buying patterns or their surfing habits. It stores users' preferences, for example, recognizes customized web pages, what color scheme somebody might have selected for a particular social media site. Um, cookies are used in online financial transactions. They allow progress in online games and quizzes to be stored. So if you come on next time, you, 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 where you've left off in the game is, is, is still remembered. They allow social networking sites to recognize certain preferences and browsing histories. They also allow different languages to be used on web pages automatically. If I was to go and visit a, a maybe a German website, it would know that I'm wanting to see the text in, in, um, in English and therefore it would recognize and it would switch that automatically. 
that ladies and gentlemen is it for cookies we have now completed this particular section um, of topic five well done thank you very much indeed for watching please if you haven't already please subscribe please hit the notifications button and i will let you know when the next video is uploaded that one will be um, digital currency and cryptocurrency so until then thank you very much indeed for watching bye bye for now